In this video, I want to show you a couple of resources that might help you get started with your data science journey. The first thing that's important to remember is that writing code is not like the silly meme about drawing an owl. It's not drawing a couple of circles and then boom, all of a sudden you have the entire data science process done. No, data science is much more about stepwise processes where we are going to have step one, first going to build the foundation. Step two, we are going to then put in some corner pieces, three, build some walls and so on, step by step moving through this process in order to then get to this final reproducible report. Keep this in mind because it can be incredibly frustrating if you expect yourself to all of a sudden be able to do every single step of the data science process. No, learn step by step by step. Remember that. You will likely need some resources along your data science journey, and I want to show you some of those now. One of the first resources is something called the cheat sheet. These cheat sheets are community-generated guides to some of the functions within these common tidyverse packages. You're not expected to know every single function within a package right from the start, so these cheat sheets oftentimes group these functions together. So let's say you want to import a data set. Well, you know that you have a data set that you want to import and let's say it's got these features. Well, you can go to the cheat sheet and get some clues about how to do that. Or if you want to manipulate your data and make it into a certain format, the cheat sheet can oftentimes help. So if you just Google the name of the package and then cheat sheet, this will oftentimes bring up the cheat sheet that you're looking for. But sometimes you run into an error message or a problem, a bug, and you don't know why, that you, why you got it. A great resource is called Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow is a website that has plenty of questions that people have posed to the community and then answers to those questions. So oftentimes, if you take your bug or your error message and you just put it into Google, Google will then bring you to Stack Overflow and a bunch of other people that have had the same problem before. So this is a great place for you to solve very specific problems for what you're trying to do. If you want a more structured approach to learning about using the tidyverse for data science, then I would recommend a fantastic book called R for Data Science by Garrett Grolemund and Hadley Wickham. In this book, they take you through the different steps of the data science process and the packages of the tidyverse. It's available for free online, so if you want to just go to this website, you can have access to the entire book. Lastly, after you install a package, you will also install help documentation that's associated with that package. You can type into the console a question mark followed by the name of the function, and then you will get the help documentation about that function. You can also navigate to the help uh, tab within RStudio and just search within that, and it will pull up the same description. So hopefully, some of these resources will get you started along your data science journey.